Okay, I built a little circuit here in PSpice. We're just going to do a simple little experiment. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to vary voltage and look at current and look at how current changes as voltage changes in this as simple circuit as you can as you can make. <laughs> so um, there's a couple things here though I want to talk about first. I've, I've got nominal. These are these are default values. I've built this little circuit in piece by uh, the voltage source is default at zero volts, and again it's a DC supply, and and R1 uh, is a thousand by default. Now let's say I've gone in and I've measured this resistance. If we were in a lab, we would take out an ohmmeter, we would measure the resistor value. And let's say I measured 1043. So we're measuring 1043. The nominal value though, the value that uh, the resistor is labeled, let's say is a thousand ohms. So what I'm gonna wanna do in piece by I'm gonna wanna go in and I'm gonna wanna change the value of this resistor in piece by We're gonna make it get the actual measured value. Let's say we were, taking some measurements in the lab and we were comparing those measurements to a piece by analysis. So I'm gonna say, okay, here. So we've got our one sent to 1043. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna vary voltage. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the voltage values, uh, range between one and 10 volts. And we're gonna go in and we are going to use piece by to measure the values of those resist, uh, of, of the current in that circuit. Now we're going to go back and we're going to use Excel. So I'm going to go in and take these measurements. I'm going to put them in Excel in column B here. We're going to go in and we're going to do a calculation. We're going to calculate what the current value should be based on the nominal value, the 1000 ohm value of the resistor. So the measured value here is going to indicate the current with the actual measured value of resistance, 143 ohms. And then column C here is going to do a nominal calculation. It's going to calculate what the current should be based on the nominal value of the resistor, the labeled value of the resistor, which is 1000 ohms. So let's get started. Um, now there's one thing missing in this circuit. Okay. If we're going to be taking measurements in piece by piece, we have to have a ground. We mentioned this in some of the earlier uh, labs. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to place a ground here. We're going to go with our cap sim, zero cap sim again. I'm going to stick it right here. That's typically where we'd be. We place in ground. Does it matter where we place the ground? In this circuit, no, because we're looking at current. Um, we could put the ground anywhere. There's only two nodes. There's here and here. Well, you could put it in either location. We're still going to get the same current value because this is a series circuit. There's only one path for current to flow. So now I want to go in and I want to start adjusting my um, my voltage source. So let's go one volt here. Say okay. Okay. We're going to go in and we are going to create a new simulation profile, and I'll call this uh, I'll call it L4A for Lab 4A. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to say create. We're going to go with the default values. And um, you can see here now my run piece by button is lit up. I can click that. I'm going to run piece by I'm going to look at the bottom window here. I'm going to check my error log or check my log. I don't see any errors listed. Looks like it ran OK. Uh, the V, the I, and the W, the, the, the voltage current and power buttons are lit up here. We're just interested in current in this experiment. So let's click I here. I'm getting 958.8 microamps. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click here on cell B4 in Excel. I'm going to say what? 958.8. And if we want to enter exponential values in Excel, we use an E and micro. Um, Metrics prefix for micro, that's 10 to the minus 6 in scientific notation. So I'm going to say negative 6. So 958.8 times 10 to the negative 6th amps. We're measuring for a 1 volt value here. Okay, I can go in now and I can change my voltage source to 2. We'll take the same measurement, 2 volts DC. Okay, let's turn our current indicator off here. We have to go in 
and we have to create a new simulation profile again. So I'm going to call this L4B, we'll call it for lab 4B. I'll say create. We'll stick with the defaults, say OK. Run PSPICE, no errors in the log below. I'm going to click I. We're getting 1.918. Uh, milli is 10 to the minus 3, so E negative 3. You get the idea of what's going on here. Let's do one more, then I'll just fill in the ones I've already done. Okay, so we're going to change now to 3 volts DC. Say OK. Let me turn this thing off so it doesn't confuse us. We're going to create a new simulation profile. We'll call this L4C. Again, it doesn't matter what you call it. Create. We will stick with the defaults. We'll run piece by piece. No errors in the error log. Click I. Two point seven six E negative three. Okay, so I'm going to fill in the rest of these here. I've got um, what have I got here? For four volts, I got three point eight three. E uh, negative three, that's milliamps. Uh, for five volts, I've got 4.79. E negative three. Again, I've already taken these measurements. You can go ahead and do them on your own. Um, 5.75 here. E negative three. Oops. E negative three. So uh, that's with our voltage source set to six volts. For a voltage source of seven volts, I got 6.71 E negative three. For uh, eight volts, we got 7.67 E negative three. For nine volts, I got 8.63 E, oops, E, negative uh, three. And then for uh, 10 volts, I got 9.58 E negative three. So we could have taken these measurements in the lab. We used piece by piece to, to, do the, to take these measurements, okay? So what we've done again is we've aired the voltage from one to 10 volts and we've gone in and we've measured current. And we're using the actual measured value of the resistor here. Um, 1043 ohms. Okay, so we're kind of done with Excel now. I'm going to blow or uh, piece by piece. So I'm going to blow up Excel here. And let's zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little better. That's probably pretty good. Okay, these are our measurements, column B. Column A, we're going to do some calculations. We're going to do a nominal calculated value. Okay, so if we want to calculate current, it's voltage divided by resistance. So when the voltage source is set to one volt, I'm going to say equal sign A4 slash. Okay, we're using a nominal value of the resistor, and we want to make this an absolute reference. So that value is in cell what? E6. So I'm going to say dollar sign E dollar sign 6. Okay, and we get um, 0 0.001. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to calculate this down. These are in amps, or uh, copy this down. Okay, and I'm going to go in and change. I'll change this to scientific notation now. Okay, to do this in Excel, I right click, I go in and I click Format Cells, and we'll make it scientific, and we'll go with the default two decimal places. Okay, so we got everything in scientific notation right now. All right. The last thing I think we want to do here is do a quick graph. So I'm going to highlight my values. Okay, I'm going to go to um, 
I'm going to go to insert on the menu here. I'm going to click recommended charts. And I'm going to grab this chart right here go with this one and I'm going to say, okay. And what you're seeing here, you can tidy up, you can go in and change the title if you want. And, and, uh, but series one is the current, uh, what we've got, we've got current on the uh, vertical axis. We've got voltage on the horizontal axis here. Okay. Series one is the measured value. Okay. And series two is the nominal value calculation. Let's move this over a little bit so you can see it. All right. So that's what we're looking at here. Now, The most important thing and what I want you to be able to see here is I want you to see these are both linear. These are linear relationships. Okay. There's a linear, linear relationship between voltage and current when you just have a, when you have a totally resistive circuit. That's the most, most important thing. And it doesn't matter if you're using the nominal value of a thousand or the actual measured value of the resistor of, uh, in this case, we just said it was 1,043 ohms. Okay. So again, just a simple little experiment indicating that, uh, showing the linear relationship. And I like, I do like to use Excel. Um, I think Excel is something you're going to be using quite a bit, uh, once you start working. So in some of these labs, I'll be jumping into Excel like we just did with this, uh, this uh, simple experiment, simple, basic, but uh, basic uh, fundamental understanding. This is very important stuff as you get into this uh, course content a little more. So we will, we will stop.